Hey y'all, obviously this is my first 2020 inventory video. I just wanted to give you an interesting visual to look at while I do my intro. But yeah, I'm just starting out with face primers, eye primers, lip primers, face products like my foundations and my setting sprays. That's all I wanted to talk about today because uh, I didn't want to have a super long video. Uh, and once you see my full makeup hoard, I'm sure most of you will be like, uh, you really could have put all of that in one video because I don't have nearly as much as a lot of people. But, you know, I just kind of wanted to break it up a little bit. I wanted to get something up for this week. I wanted to let you guys know that my inventory is coming and is in process. I have already written everything down and categorized everything. But I just haven't taken pictures. I haven't put everything out and filmed it yet. So I'm, I'm working on that. And this is the first installment of my inventory. So yeah, if you are interested, keep watching and you will see how many primers I have and foundations and setting sprays. So I guess I'll catch you guys at the end of the video. Bye. Okay, y'all, I'm going to try to keep the camera as still as possible. These are my face primers that I have right now in 2020. This is a sample I got from Ulta in a little makeup kit that was free. It was a free gift. It's a poreless primer. I'm going to probably use it after I get done with my e.l.f. poreless primer. It does not have a lid anymore. And this is in my A to Z project uh, 20 uses. I don't think it's got much more than 20 uses in it because you can see that little mark that's like at the top of the E. That is how much I had at the start of the year and I've already used this a couple of times. It has gone up, but I have not remarked it. Um, so I just wanted to, you know, let people know if this ended up in an empty, that's how much I started out with. I didn't finish this whole thing in a year. So, you know, I kind of want to be honest about my progress. So, you know, uh, exactly how, my, how much progress I'm making. This is my Ulta hydrating face primer. It is going in my A to Z pan as well, or A to Z Z uh, project as well. Gosh, if I could talk, that would be awesome. Um, but uh, I did this one for you, and I did this one for E, I believe, because of the brands. <laughs> and um, this one is not as hydrating as I wish it was. I was a little bit disappointed. Uh, it's really more or less just a just a moisturizer and I pretty much use it before I put on my makeup so that you know it doesn't interfere with my makeup and cause pilling and all that because I hate that uh, this is in my partners in cream project pan it is green it is the color of the tube it uh, was purchased years ago. I don't even know if this company is still in business. I still haven't looked it up, y'all. I've been so busy. And I am trying to use it up because it's old. And I don't really have as many issues with redness as I did. I used to put this on my psoriasis because I was much more uh, self-conscious about the redness on my face than I am now. Now, I could not possibly care less uh, because... It's my face, and if you don't like it, don't look at it. So, there you go. But I am trying to use up this one, this one, and this one this year. So, we'll see. Who knows? And this is my Becca First Light Primer. I friggin' love this. I got a sample of it, and this is the smaller size you can see. Um, but I got a sample of it, and it plumped up my skin so well. And I really enjoy how the purple kind of evens out my skin because I have very yellow undertones, very olivey yellow undertones. So this purple works really well to make my skin look healthy. I don't look, you know, sick because of my undertones. So I do really love this. I got this in a kit with 
the Moonstone Liquid Highlighter on Black Friday for $15. So I got those two products for less than I would have paid for this by itself. And so I'm going to use it for a little while. I'm going to use up this tube and see if I think it's worth repurchasing. There's some other color correcting and uh, brightening primers that I've seen come out that I'm interested in trying. I want to try the e.l.f. Um, I think it's a brightening primer or a highlighting primer or something. It's, it's a putty primer type. So I want to try that, but I am on a no buy. So I have to use these up before I can buy any more primers. So wish me luck, guys. Okay, these are my primers for my lips and my eyes. I thought I would do them together because I don't think I have enough of either one to really do on its own. I especially don't have enough lip primers to talk about on their own. This is the NYX uh, lip primer. I have had this for quite a while. I don't even know if they still sell this. Uh, I've probably got about half of it left. I have been using it religiously this year, so I'm quite proud of myself. I do like a lip primer because it actually keeps um, your lipstick from coming off. I had someone at a restaurant ask me what kind of lipstick I was wearing because most of it was still on after I ate and I ate at Olive Garden. So we all know that oils break down our lip products and I still had a good bit of mine on because I had primed my lips. So, and this is a nude color. It, um, it more neutralizes your lips and helps, uh, the color stay true as well and I like that. This one is a, let's see, is it a nude color? I don't know, but this is the Ulta Lip Primer. There we go, color enhancing. And uh, I haven't tried it yet, obviously, because the plastic is still on, because I'm using that NYX one. And I do want to try it. I would like to see how it performs compared to the next one and we will see hopefully sometime this year then I have the LA girl lip primer it is matte base anti feathering and I need that because sometimes my psoriasis dries out my lips and I will have feathering even though I don't really have fine lines around my lips They'll just look very dried out and it will cause my lipstick to kind of feather out and not stay on my lips. And it doesn't look good. This is clear, so it doesn't do anything for the color, but it will keep it from feathering. So I'd like to try that one too. I haven't tried it yet. But um, I might try it with a Flower Beauty Lip Pop, I want to think is what it's called, but it's kind of like that vinyl look and it tends to feather on me. It slides right off of my lips, y'all. So I think this might work. The matte base might work well with that lip gloss. And up here we have the LA Girl, whoop, that was cute, Pro Primer. It's for eyes and it's in a stick form. Haven't tried it yet, haven't opened it. This is where we're getting into our problem area. This is only the second, uh, second category that we're talking about. You're crooked. Stop it. Uh, this is only the second category that we're talking about and I have five eyeshadow primers. Three lip primers I get. I acquired these over the course of a year. These two and then you know I was using this one and I probably thought I was going to use this one more than I did and I just didn't work out that way. But yeah I have five eye primers. I don't need five eye primers. The only one I'm using right now is this one and this one occasionally. So, uh, but yeah, so I have an LA Girl eyeshadow primer. I'm going to try it once I get done with my Urban Decay primer potion. I'm either going to try this one or this one. This is the matte eyeshadow primer in nude from Ulta. And then I have the anti-aging primer potion from Urban Decay and then I still have one in the box the regular Urban Decay primer potion and then I have my NYX glitter glue we all recognize that right so yeah the only two I have open are these two 
and I have a backup of primer potion. Like, what, what the hell? Like, what am I doing? I've got enough eyeshadow primer to last me probably five years. Like, this is ridiculous. So, thus the no-buy. Like, I do not need another eyeshadow primer for quite a while. Okay, we have all of my face products here. It's not too bad, but it's starting to feel a little bit out of control, and I want to whittle this down. Now, this probably has about three uses left. It is the NYX BB Cream in Natural, and I really do like this. I really like the way it looks on my skin, and the color looks good on me, but I have other stuff that I need to use that I wanted to try. So, I can't repurchase that, and they only have three shades in it, which really kind of bothers me, but, I mean, I know that BB Cream is kind of meant to be like a color correcting thing and not really like a coverage thing, so, I don't know, I don't know, but it does bother me that there's only three shades, so, anywho, I will see if I repurchase or not. Then I have the Wet n Wild BB Cream, they're not cruelty free anymore, everybody knows that. Um, that little bunny on there just kind of annoys the crud out of me. But this is in shade light medium. And um, it is decent. But it's not my favorite. Uh, it's a little orange for me. So I'm mixing this with my color correcting foundation and primer stick from Ulta. I don't like stick foundations anymore. At all. They make me look even drier than I already am. And if you've been on my channel for five minutes, you know that I have a desert of a face. So, I need moisture. I don't need to look drier. I need to look more moisturized. So, I'm mixing these two. They're both in my Roses Are Red project. And I'm trying to use them 14 times. I've used them several times. I'm not really sure what my count is right now, but you'll get an update Uh Actually, you may have already gotten an update. I'm not sure. I don't know when videos are going up, but you'll get, uh, you'll either get one soon or you just got one. Uh, these two I have not opened yet. They're the Physi Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation. They were on sale at the Kroger where Cuddle Dragon lives, and they were $3 each. So I bought them. I got medium warm two and medium neutral three uh i don't know if either of these matches me but if they don't i can mix them with something I, or i can mix them together i don't know i'll figure it out and then uh also on sale was the covergirl true blend liquid makeup i got this one in m3 i believe and you can see it was 2.99 or 2.90 so, $3 for this uh, foundation, and I did want to try it, so I bought it, and we'll see how this looks on me, and yeah, but before I can open these, I have to use these up, and I would like to use this up, and this is the Ulta Beauty Mineral Foundation in Fair. Believe it or not, this actually matches me pretty well, even though I'm like a medium girl, a creamy natural kind of girl. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, the shade on this is creamy natural. So it's a little bit more yellow, so it kind of works with that better, you know. And if I still have some of this, maybe I can mix it with the True Blend. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to figure this out. It'll, it'll be okay. But yeah, this is in Fair, and you can see I've used some of it, but not very much. Um, very little. So, I would like to use this up. I got this in 2018, and I got this in 2018. got this in 2017. Only God knows when I got this. It is older than any of them here. But, three uses left, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. And then I have the CoverGirl Simply Ageless. This is in my A to Z 20 uses uh, project. And it's for C, so I will be using this after kind of like you know I want to get 20 uses out of it for the rest of the year so I don't know if I'll mainly be using it 
or if I'm going to keep using these and try to use them up or at least try to use this up after the 14 uses project. I don't know guys, but either way, by the end of the year, I would love to have these two used up and this one at least mostly used up because I want this gone. This is, this is not pretty on my skin at all. So yeah, there you have it. This is my foundation collection. By the end of the year, I would like it down to these five. We'll see what I can do. Wish me luck. Okay, this is going to be my last topic for my first inventory video just because I don't want it to be too long. And y'all, I got some topics or some categories that are a little bit scary and they will be coming soon. So I don't want to overwhelm you and put my entire makeup hoard in one video. I wish I could. Oh, uh, maybe, maybe soon. But for now, I'm just going to leave you with these. These are my setting sprays. And I put these in here because some people use them as setting sprays. I don't. I use them as skincare because that's what they say they are. Skincare, skincare. So what I do is I mist these on my face throughout the day. Normally when I, I'm just feeling dry, like after I've already put on you know, moisturizer or something like that. If I don't have an occlusive on my face, I usually don't put an occlusive on my face in the morning. I usually put it on at night. So during the day, if my face gets, you know, a little bit dry or I'm just kind of feeling like I need to be refreshed. I live in Georgia. So in the summertime, this, I keep it in my refrigerator and it is incredibly refreshing. Sometimes you just need a boost okay sometimes you just need something to help you get through your day and I find that this is really helpful to do in the summertime and I really like the smell of this but it's skincare um, I do sometimes spray this on my face before I put on my products that have hyaluronic acid in them so that uh, this will absorb into my skin because the first ingredient on this I don't know if it's going to show up, but the first ingredient on this is water. So it is water based and uh, it's got aloe in it. So I sometimes put that on if I don't want to get up and go to the sink and put um, just plain water on my face or if I don't have my spray bottle nearby. So that is one good thing that this is uh, for. And I like the scent. I just like the scent. I consider it like more aromatherapy than actual skincare. But uh, I don't know if I'll repurchase this or not. Probably not. I got it when they went on sale. Um, so it wasn't very expensive. And then I ended up, when I was at the hospital in December, there's a break in this, yeah. Um, it like leaked in the box. And so I started out this year with it at the line and so that's how much I have left yeah pretty much so about half of that left and this will be how much I will have used up this year so I didn't want to once again I like to be honest with y'all and myself so I didn't want anybody to think I used up a whole one of these when I didn't or you know I wanted them to know the time frame during which I used up a whole one of those but the actual setting sprays I do have is the e.l.f. setting spray. I don't have the full name on it. There is nothing on it anymore. If you've watched like a Get Ready With Me video or um, anything like that, you'll know that this is what I use to wet my eyeshadows when I foil them. I started out the year with this much in here. And now I probably have about half of that left. You can, you can see it a little bit in there. So I probably have about half of that left. Once again, my honesty policy. So uh, this is my Urban Decay All Nighter. I have not opened this. And this is, I don't know if the camera is, you know, throwing y'all off or anything, but this is the ten, or one ounce uh, size. So I haven't used it yet. I've heard mixed things about it. It has alcohol in it. It dries out my skin. It's the best thing I've ever used. You know, 
<laughs> different people are looking for different things in products and I am going to give it a try. I also have a teeny tiny, um, gosh, it's just a few milliliter bottle of this somewhere. I got it as a free gift when I made an Ulta order, but I cannot find it for the life of me, but I kept it because I thought it would be great to refill and carry with me, even if I don't like the all-nighter spray. I do like the e.l.f. spray. I like it as a setting spray, and I like it to foil my eyeshadows. I have used it as a setting spray. Actually, this is so old, y'all. I used this, uh, let's see, four years ago when I got married. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, married, married. Um, little rabbit ears, married. Uh, but anyway, I have basically two setting sprays. I'm fine with that because I only have a little bit left in this one. I want to try this one if I don't like it. I will allow myself to purchase another setting spray if I don't like it to foil my eyeshadows. Um, I'll allow myself to like probably repurchase the e.l.f. or maybe try a different one that I've been thinking about because I definitely won't use either of these to foil my eyeshadows. And I love doing that. I use an eyeshadow primer and I foil my shadows. So, yeah. But this is the last category for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And this obviously is not a problem area. The only problem area in this video I considered was probably my foundations. I would prefer not to have more than probably a BB cream or a tinted moisturizer and a mineral foundation or maybe just like maybe one of each of those to use in tandem. That would be nice. And my primers aren't bad, but I would like to whittle that down a bit. My eye primers are getting a little bit out of control. So, you know, we'll have the numbers and we'll see how I do by the end of the year. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you oh so much. And I'll see you in the next video, and I hope that you're well until then. Bye!